Hi, my name is Caroline Darling Hughes, and I'm the author of Style Hacking, So a Creative Wardrobe. And in this book, I'm demonstrating the different techniques you can uh, use to make clothes without using paper patterns. So I'm taking five different garments that most people will have in their wardrobe and just using how to trace them and how to change them slightly so you can make a whole lot of different things to wear. It's for those who are tired of paper patterns, who don't think they have a lot of time to sew, and just want to get something done rather quick and in a fun and intuitive way. And right now I'm going to show you some of the things that you can make with the techniques from style hacking. There are so many things you can make with the techniques from this book. There are lots of trousers, lots of different tops. There's even coats and kimonos. There are lots of tops and skirts, like this top, this skirt, but also this top and this skirt. Lots of different styles to choose from once you know how to make the techniques. So many different types of dresses, like this very simple and elegant one, to this colourful and fun style. And a lot of the garments are super comfortable, soft and nice to wear, and will fit most body types. There are lots of models for beginners, good projects to get started with if you're not a very experienced seamstress, but there's also projects that are a little bit more fun to make once you have mastered the other styles, like this jumpsuit for example. The story behind style hacking, so a creative wardrobe, is basically that it's the way I have always been making. Um, I have been to design school and have, um, have learnt how to do all the different techniques on how to create a proper paper pattern and size it and grade it and everything. But it was just never the way I chose to make anything if, um, if it was in my free time, if it was just for fun. And I basically always just put clothing on top of fabric and then basically made new clothing that way. And I've had several workshops as well where I taught other people. And um, I have experienced that many are actually interested in this way of making and sewing and want to know a bit more about it. So that is why I've made this book, and uh, as you can see from all of these photos that I'm showing, there are a lot of styles, a lot of different um, ways to make um, tops, skirts, dresses, and so on in this book. The photo process has been so fun because of, of COVID. Um, I've had to actually shoot all the photos myself. And it's been uh, trying to get my friends and family to participate and everybody's been so kind to help. It has really, really been great and we've had some super fun times. So it's been a way to see people I love and care about and have them help me and model some of all these garments. And it's just been a really, really nice process. And seeing all the photos, seeing all the different styles, um, I'm really happy, I'm pleased and I'm proud. And, well, the best recommendation I can give is that I wear a lot of these outfits, actually, all the time. And um, that's quite a good recommendation, I think. And I just hope that it will inspire lots of people to make their own versions of it and just to get started and not being so worried about how to actually master the art of sewing. Because you can just do it this way and it will be pretty fuss free and awesome. I really hope you will enjoy the book. I sure had fun making it and I just hope that there are so many of you who are a little bit intimidated to start sewing and all the paper patterns and all the different rules, all the things you have to know, who will actually be inspired by this book to just start making in a fun and intuitive way without so many rules, but in a way that you can still make some great pieces of clothing and some fun things for your wardrobe. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.